Okay, so here I've got the plugin installed. Uh, we can see it's in my plugins folder, uh, Beyond Link via Chrome, and if it's installed properly, you should see the plugin file, but you should also see the Beyond uh, Link server. Okay, so I've opened up a um, a administrator uh, command prompt. Whoops. Uh, and now I'm going to run um, the server in learn mode again. Um, doing that allows us to troubleshoot the communication to the server without having to run Tailspire. Once we get that working, we can run it with the whole uh, Tailspire package. So I start that. Uh, on my computer, I've got dice selection, so it uh, found that dice selection is, is present there. Um, but uh, on your um, computer, you may not have that, so uh, this may not show up. The important part is the listening here, and once you're listening, don't press enter or any keys because that will cause it to end. So now I'm going to go to my uh, Chrome, and I'm going to Beyond, beyond, grab a character, come on, why are you being so slow? Mm. Here's my character. Um, I've got the plugin already installed. So now, if I go back to this, I see a whole bunch of information here. That's because I've got the dice selection um, module installed. If you don't, then this will remain empty. But if we look back at our folder and go into custom data, you can see that it has um, recognized my, my character that I had and all of the stats that it was able to kind of uh, um, extract have been created here. It's always the name dot uh, the stat. Um, if you're in learn mode, uh, there's also the content just song, which is basically uh, the information that it ex extracted from the, um, from the server. Uh, so you can see that actually it extracted more information such as skills and attacks, which don't get resolved to a um, to a file. Only the, the stats, the, these ones here, will get resolved to a file. Um, that's because the normal plugin doesn't need any of this stuff. It just uses the, uh, uh, this stuff. Um, but all of this information is being extracted so that other things like dice selection module can use it. Uh, yeah, so that's the first step is you need in your custom data to see your character name and these uh, stats being written there. If that's working, you know you've got communication going to your server and then you can run the Tailspire part. And as I said, the, the Tailspire plugin, what it does is it actually reads these files. It doesn't actually use the server. It reads these files um, to update. Uh, the benefit of that is if, for example, your Chrome plugin or your Chrome extension is having problems communicating and it, let's say, writes something out only once every five minutes, it won't be holding up Tailspire because Tailspire is just going to go to these files. They might not have been updated, but it'll read those and it'll say, okay, all my stats are still the same. I don't need to change anything. So it's, Tailspire isn't waiting on the communication to Chrome. So that's why it's kind of div divided this way uh, for e efficiency. So yeah, that's the first part. If once, you, once you get this um, appearing, you know the communication to the server is good, and then you can run Tailspire. Like, in that case, don't start in learn mode. Just let um, just run Tailspire. Tailspire will start that server automatically, and um, then you should be getting your data coming all the way back to your mini if you name the mini the same as whatever you're extracting from um, uh, your Chrome. Yeah, so give that a try.